Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. My name is Ojan and today I will be showing my first PenBBS fountain pen that I have bought, the PenBBS 309. I had the pen for a couple of years in my collection and uh, used it a couple of times. I usually though stop and think twice before deciding if I want to use it and uh, it's not uncommon for me to skip it from time to time uh, when it's time in the rotation it's up. I know that probably my opinion on the pen BBS might not line up with all the popular opinions out there but unfortunately my experience with their pens um, haven't been on the good side. This was the first fountain pen I bought from them and at the same time this is uh, also the pen together with another one uh, from them that I'll review uh, at a later time that uh, put me off uh, pen BBS fountain pens, especially their uh, piston fillers. I have a few other fountain pens from them but I usually think twice before deciding to actually buy a pen uh, from them. When I'm reviewing this, uh, it's just been announced uh, that PenBBS came up with another um, fountain pen that I'm actually really, really excited about it, but scared. I did uh, put a pre-order on it and uh, I hope and pray that they didn't scrap that uh, filling system. Basically, they did a touchdown, and touchdown uh, fountain pens are one of my top favorites, as in pretty much second place of my on my favorite list. I I love touchdown uh, fountain pens, so I really hope that the version that they're gonna come up with uh, is gonna be a nice version. I believe I purchased the pen for around 40 Canadian dollars a few years back. I don't remember exactly for sure how many years have passed and I don't remember if I have paid any shipping charges. The order uh, was so long ago that is not even showing up in my eBay purchase uh, history. Uh, going quickly through the uh, fountain pen, um, the version that I chose was this uh, green uh, acrylic uh, with uh, white and uh, black ribbons that I well, drop inside the acrylic and this version of the pen as far as I know they're all coming with a transparent uh, barrel which is really nice because you can always get to see how much ink you have left and at the same time you get to admire the ink that you're putting in it. The clip on the pen it's actually pretty good. Uh, just the right amount of stiffness on it. Doing the shirt test slides pretty nicely in and this is how much is going to show off out of your pocket. Taking it out it's very nice and easy, nothing snags. The clip is stamped however but I don't see no issues with it and the top finial it actually unscrews. The cap also has a metal band uh, that says pen BBS and uh, well the number 309 in this case. The cap uh, it's a screw on type. I'm not able to remove the cap in one move so this will definitely be more than two uh, rotations. On my model or more at least on my copy um, Screwing and unscrewing the cap, it's a little bit of a fight, it's not smooth, it tends to sort of a bind a little bit, which is annoying, but well, actually not binding, more like sticking. Once you remove the cap though, you'll be greeted with a section that is in the same color as the cap and uh, the knob uh, for the piston. And with a number six single tone, at least on my copy, single tone uh, nib. I really like the nibs and the feeds uh, from PBA, Pen BBS, uh, and this is the only thing that keeps me buying their brand from time to time. Their nibs are top notch, I like them. One thing you should be careful though with the feeds from them if you have to remove the feed for cleaning is that these fins are very um, fragile. 
so they can easily bend and you can easily break them. So I would say be careful how you remove it and how you pull the feed out of the pan. On this pan, as far as I know, based on what I've, I, I have tried, this is friction fit. It's not actually a nib unit. So you'll have to pull it out and push it in. The section and the barrel are meeting uh, pretty nicely. Uh, there is not a big step up in there and the threads on the barrel are actually very smooth. From the threads to the actual barrel, uh, there's not a step, but again, very nice and smooth. I don't see any issues with it or ever had any problems with it. And then, well, it continues uh, all the way to the a ring that is just before the uh, piston knob. Now the barrel, you can remove it very easily for cleaning. And if you decide to fill it like this, which most of the time that's what I do, uh, I usually keep these threads and this O-ring uh, silicone greased after every cleaning. And we are reaching basically the part that I have an issue with. Now, um, I've already worked on my pen and I've already found a way to make this piston go smoothly. So the original issue that I had with this pen is that uh, the piston was getting stuck on the barrel. And uh, basically you end up uh, removing this, the piston was not going down and you end up basically with this in your hand and the piston up here basically like this and you have to actually force this in and fight a little bit with the rubber until it was moving a little bit and it was getting grease from the barrel and then everything was fine for a couple of days until you had to uh, well uh, fill it up again or something like that the problem is not that you don't add uh, silicone grease on it. The problem is that this plunger, this uh, rubber plunger, the diameter for it, it's too big compared with the diameter for, uh, for the barrel. So what happens is that over time, because the, the plunger is well squeezed in there and the rubber always tends to return to its normal shape, the more you squeeze it in there, the harder it's trying well, to push against the wall to return to its normal position or to its normal state. So what happens is that in time, because of the forces that of the rubber pushing against the wall, the silicon that it's inside uh, between these uh, two lines actually gets displaced until the rubber gets in touch with the wall of the barrel. And as such, uh, basically, well, because of the high uh, drag coefficient of, uh, of rubber, you have the issue of the piston not being able to go down. Now, the only way I found to fix this, and um, it's a pain in the rear end, basically, and it's not something that I usually recommend, but that's the only way that I found to fix it. And um, it seems like it sort of works. I still have to do some work on it because pushing the plunger in is still a little bit of a fight. I think I still have to shave a little bit off from those uh, two lines of the plunger, plunger. So the only way to fix this is basically to put the plunger in a drill and then using something like um, 500 or 1000 grit uh, sandpaper, you wet sand those lines. Now sanding rubber, it's a pain in the butt and you will take a long time. And you have to use a fine grit and you have to make sure it's um, wet sanding so you don't actually damage uh, and rip chunks out of that o-ring. And when you do this, don't press too hard. You have to slowly go gentle and make sure that uh, you sand it uh, perfectly all around uh, at the same level. Now, moving away from the piston, the pen, it's actually fairly well balanced. Without the cap uh, posted, its um, balance is pretty much in the middle. 
lengthwise it's actually a good length the pen does post and uh, post fairly deep you have to push it a little bit in to make sure it's secure in there and it won't actually turn the uh, the piston knob so it's uh, it's a good fit however it does back weight the pen a little bit most probably because of that metal band and the balance shifts a little bit towards the top of the pen is not in the middle anymore so since the piston is working for now uh, i will uh, go ahead and fill it up in the normal way if this however doesn't work for you what you can do you could completely ignore it if you don't want to go through the trouble and wet sand uh, that rubber down you just open this and you pretty much treat it as an um, eyedropper use uh, one of these that i had prepared just in case uh, use one of these to fill up your pen and put the suction bunny back in and you're done for today's drawing i was planning to uh, go back to one of the inks that i had uh, purchased from aliexpress this one okay put the piston down put it in the ink go halfway up go back down and then go back all the way up the pen gets a pretty good feel so the piston when it works works actually very well no complaints there and the section cleans up very nicely no issues there as well and doing a quick writing sample for those that care about it again the pen does post but because of the weight i usually use it unposted so this is the pen bbs 309 now the names on this fountain pen they are a little bit uh, waverly styled or mini for them i'm not sure how to call them but the idea is that the tip it's a little bit upturned and even though it says fine on it the the pen does not tend to be fine from what i see based with what i'm used this is more of a medium uh, pen however what i do like about them because of that upturned uh, tip is that usually on the reverse they tend to have a really nice fine line and that's what I like about the nib. It's uh, smooth for writing, but it can also give you some very fine lines when needed. I don't know if all the nibs are, are like this, but based on the copies that I have so far, all of them for me are the same and they write the same. because of uh, the medium size that uh, usually these nibs have i tend to um, write a little bit bigger just to make sure i, ca I can actually make the letters uh, stand out a little bit better but it's not a pain in the butt however if you like to write a little bit smaller these nibs might not be for you i don't know if they make extra fine all the nibs that i had so far are uh, fine but knowing that they are making quite a few uh, nib sizes uh, that i should probably try sometime i guess i wouldn't be surprised if i'm able to find an extra fine which i should give it a try one of these days i guess for today's drawing i wanted to keep it as simple as possible i never used this pen for drawing i used it for writing in the past um, and for today's drawing basically i wanted to draw a flower keeping it very simple i don't know what kind of flower this is um, but hopefully it will turn out okay i made some marks uh, to see if maybe i'll uh, draw some droplets on it or not depending on how i feel and it's gonna be uh, also a couple of bokeh balls uh, in the background um, and hopefully the rest of it will be in a darker shade I'm not 100% sure exactly how I'm going to do the shade. I don't know if I'm going to use the same color and then just darken it as much as possible as in overlaying it or actually go to a black ink. 
still decide, I'm still deciding on that. Um, who knows? Maybe I even gonna keep it just white. We'll discover that together. So uh, I'm gonna start uh, working on the drawing, and I'll let you know what I think of this pen. Addressing the drawing uh, quickly, midway, uh, as I was finishing drawing the flower and bud, uh, I decided to swap the inks when drawing the green stem. I thought it's a great opportunity to also use the green ink that I purchased from AliExpress as well. I think uh, that was a pretty good call since both colors seem to complement each other very well. I also decided to drop the bulky balls uh, effect that I was planning. Too much uh, stifling uh, involved and uh, well, at 1am I wasn't really feeling it anymore. Plus I also did not want to distract too much from the flower so again I went for a simpler approach for the background. Just uh, giving the feeling of some grass around the flower. I think in the end this suits the flower even more and doesn't distract as much. The ink that I used for the grass effect was uh, Diamine Earl Grey. I am uh, really pleased uh, with the end result. Simple, clean and makes me feel like slowly I'm reaching a new skill level when uh, drawing with ink. Well, at least that's what I like to lie to myself. Regarding the fountain pen, it worked very well and without a fuss. Once it's inked, all my grabs with the pen are gone and I really enjoy using it. Well, until I have to refill it again and uh, I always wonder if it's gonna work out or not. Things that I like about the Pen BBS uh, 309. At the top of the list is the nib and this is the only one thing that I truly love about Pen BBS pens no matter the model I had so far. Hands down, one of my favorite feed and nib combination on the market that comes from a Chinese manufacturer. Specific to this pen, I like the clear transparent barrel and the fact that it's uh, combined uh, with really nice color acrylics and that the cap, section and piston are bar matching. I also like that it holds quite a decent amount of ink and that you do not require any tools to disassemble the piston. Super bonus points on that. Wish all piston fillers would be like that. I also like that you can treat the pen as an eyedropper and fill it up with a syringe rather than bother with a stuck piston. And finally, I think the pen has a good size and girth and that will fit the majority, people or majority of people out there. Things that I don't like as much on the pen BBS 309. Well, first thing and probably the only frustrating part that I have with this pen and hate at the same time is the piston filler. From my perspective this is a major flaw of the pen. Yes I can work around the issue and yes I can treat the pen as an eyedropper but if I buy a piston filler I expect to use it as a piston filler. In my case I was able to work the plunger and make it work even though I still need to spend a little bit more time on, I need to, per to make it perfect. Without working on the plunger, on my copy at least, this pen fails to deliver as a piston filler and as such I cannot and will never be able to recommend it to anyone. Again, adding more silicone grease won't really fix the issue. The problem is the rubber plunger and it having a larger diameter than it should be. Also, I noticed that I tend to have this issue more when it's warmer outside, like summer days. In winter, because the plunger has some shrinks ever so slightly, I usually don't used to have this issue. The only other thing that I uh, think could have been maybe a little bit better on this pen, and this could, have, could only be an issue with my copy, uh, well, they are the threads. Uh, they are way too stiff for my comfort to screw or unscrew. Every time I screw down the cap makes me a little worried that I might strip the threads on it somehow. And these are the only two things that I don't like on the pen. And it's frustrating because this pen could have been a perfect pen so easily, but unfortunately it isn't. 
And that's pretty much a wrap. If by any means I have missed uh, anything or you have any other questions, please leave them in a comment below and I will try and get to them as soon as I can. Please feel free to also leave a comment if you want to share your experience. We all have different experience and it will be nice to hear what others think of this pen. My experience might be different than yours and uh, that's okay. With that said, I thank you for joining me today and I hope I will catch you next time. Wish you all the best and a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. Take care. Bye.